So the crazy thing is we got a new Fontenango before a new Seamus. Am I pissed? Of course I am. Seamus, Seamus, Seamus. All I talk about is Seamus, but let's talk about Fondango today. Also known as the man that Mattel thought was more ripped than he actually is. Fondango, not that he is isn't jacked. It's just uh, Mattel thinks he's the most jacked man in the universe. I don't, I don't even know anyone this jacked. Like, look at that. That's awful. I'm just going to rip this apart because uh, I, I don't... I don't get it. Is it like in his contract or something that says he has to be way more ripped than he actually is? That Mattel needs to accentuate his physique? Also, what's going on with his face? Like, I can totally see it, but the hair's let down, right? What is that jazz? What? The face is fantastic, though. It's totally fondango. The body doesn't work. His arms are way too skinny. His torso's way too jacked. This figure looks terrible, in my opinion. Yeah, it's cool we got this updated Fandango that he was in for like two months until they realized that it was a horrible idea to give him the Latino twist. And then they brought back old Fandango who was cool and colorful, but uh, I don't know where I was going with that. Probably saying that this figure's dumb. They missed, they missed their release window for this. This is just a botched figure all around. This is why uh, I wish WWE would work with Mattel and, you know, kind of figure out what their costume changes are going to be beforehand. Or I kind of wish Mattel had a faster release window. I know it's tough and all, but this is like a prime example of, of Botchamania wrestling figure style. They, they just... This is Fondango. This is his figure. The shirt is nice, but they made him way too ripped, and because of that, his arms look way too thin. And honestly, they use like weird arms where they just painted them black instead of actually sculpting the shirt on there. So it looks really weird, really rushed. And uh, the pants are just like the pants they give everyone. So overall, I'd say that this is one of my least favorite figures that Mattel has released in a while because it's just total rush job and totally inaccurate. And it, it reminds me of Kevin Owens to an extent, except I think it's far worse. As I said before, she is wearing the Fandango-esque dancer Summer Rae outfit. 